Miss Esme and welcome to another Challenge Esme. So today's video was actually filmed back in September, pre-lockdown number two over here in England. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be trying endurance for the very first time with Beth Langley, who is a Team GB endurance rider. Um, before that, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a fun fact, because one of our horses has actually done endurance before. Can you guess which one it is? Well, it's not Joey. He's only a baby and he really has hasn't done anything in particular and although Casper's really good it's not him he hasn't done endurance before but what about Mickey <laughs> yes it's actually Mickey so he used to do quite a lot of pony club endurance before I got him so yeah isn't that very exciting let me try it myself okay He's off to have some grass. But anyway, when Beth asked me if I would like to ride her 2018 World Equestrian Games horse, I was like, yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video of me trying endurance for the very first time. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm really excited. Yeah, well, meet Tizzy. Oh, another great. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so she's who you're going to be riding Hello. today. Oh, I can't escape the greys, but you are gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. So oh. Tizzy, she's a little pocket rocket, 14 hands. Oh. Um, she's 22 now, but it hasn't slowed her down. Nope. <laughs> um, she'll hopefully look after you today. She's oh. very up for it, very speedy. Oh, we love the speedy ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Wiz. Oh, do you want to go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Beth, tell me a little bit more about endurance because it's something I've never really done before. So, basically, it's a test of horsemanship. Mm -hmm. So, you can start endurance at literally 16 kilometres yeah. and go up to 160 kilometres in a day. That's a so, lot. that's a long way, yeah. And uh, it seems like a long way when you start out, but mm -hmm. as you go up through the levels, so it gets much, much easier. Yeah. And it's basically you're managing your horse's fitness and ability over varied terrain mm -hmm. and you try and keep them within the veterinary parameters and make sure that they're fit and well and happy and you finish off with a sound horse. Brilliant. So you also have two other horses as well? I do. I've got Azid and Qantas, the boys. Um, they're much younger than Tiz, so Azid uh, is an advanced endurance horse. He can go up to 80 kilometres. Oh, no, he's open. He can go up to 80 kilometres. If he mm -hmm. does another ride, he'll be advanced, yes. hopefully, if he stops <laughs> injuring himself. And then Qantas is novice. He's not oh. done any rides yet, so he's still in training. Oh, cool. Can we go and meet them? Of course we can. Let's Yay. go. <laughs> so Azid is the bay looking at us now. Oh, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And Qantas is the one obsessed with food with his nose in an empty bucket. Oh. <laughs> I haven't got anything for either of you. They are typical geldings, oh. obsessed with food. Yep. <laughs> Mine are the exact hey. same. Yeah. Oh, so cute. So Qantas, gone back to the food. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to accompany you on Tizzy this afternoon cool. for the training ride. Because he's only a baby, mm -hmm. we'll be kind of training at his level That's rather than his level. My level will probably be down there as well. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. Um, and Azid is just coming back from injury, so Aww. he'll have to stay at home. And are they both Arabs? They're both purebred Arabs. <laughs> um, Tizzy and Azid are from the same stud. That's so um, cool. And Qantas is from a place in Wales. Hello. <laughs> so cute. And he was actually named after the airline. Yeah. Because <laughs> his mum was um, in fault to him when she travelled over from Australia. Oh my gosh, wow. I know. So Beth, tell me a little bit more about what the plan is for today. So today, I'm kind of going to show you the vetting, so mm -hmm. like the most important part yes. of endurance, what the vets look for and how to pass. So we'll have a little practice there, practice trotting up with yep. Tizzy. Um, I'm going to show you some endurance tack because that's mm -hmm. one of the main differences that we yes. have to other disciplines. And then we're going to go for a 20k training ride nice. with a little practice crew point and at the end a practice vet gate and you can decide when to present to the vet and see if you'll pass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little bit complicated but I'll try my best. You'll be fine, I'm cool. sure. Should we go back to the stables? Yeah, nice. let's go get ready. If we take Mickey away though, that's when Joey gets upset. He yeah. starts crying, oh. he starts running around the field. <laughs> it's like, it's okay, he'll be back soon. <laughs> but if I take Joey away from Mickey, then it's fine if I'm with him. It's just yeah. when Mickey's taken away, he's like, what's happening to Mickey? Yeah, Aziz's very attached to Tizzy. Oh. So should we go down to the yeah. menage to do the vetting? Cool. Thank 
thanks for that, Tiz. <laughs> okay, so I thought I'd teach you kind of the eight main elements of a vetting yeah. and why they're super important. Mm -hmm. And seeing as I'm this end, we'll start at the, the head end. Yeah. So one of the things, they'll always do the heart rate first in a vetting. Yeah. And that's so that they don't aggravate the horse and it doesn't put the heart rate up. Yeah. Um, because that's one of the things that you need to do to pass the vetting is mm -hmm. have a heart rate under 64. Okay. So one of the other things they'll do is capillary refill. Mm -hmm. So it's a rough indicator of blood pressure. Um, you can do it on your own thumb. Mm -hmm. So you, if you press your, your nail on your thumb, it should go white and it should return pink to kind of one to two seconds. Yeah. That's exactly the same in a horse. You never like this very much, do you? You do exactly the same, but you do it on their gums. And you press and it should go back. Tizzy, you're very non-compliant with that, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> The other thing you can do is mucous membranes. Mm -hmm. So that's any of kind of like the thin skin, the nostril, the gums, but the vets for endurance do it in the eyelids and they mm -hmm. will turn the eyelid over so you can see the skin. Yeah, good girl. And it nice, needs to be nice and pink and moist and it just means that the circulation is really good and their blood pressure is really good. Mm -hmm. The reason that they check that is if those things aren't what they should be is because there's something metabolically wrong going on and yeah. all the blood is going to the main organs. Mm -hmm. The other thing they're going to check for is hydration. So it doesn't hurt the horse but it's called the pinch test. So they'll go to the shoulder, they'll pinch the skin up mm -hmm. and if they're really well hydrated the skin will go down really quickly, yeah. less than a second. Anything over two seconds would mean that you're kind of, the vets will contemplate eliminating you because the horse isn't hydrated enough to yeah. continue. So the other things we do, we'll take a rug off to do these. Oh, Tizzy, you're naked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she's not very good at standing still. Oh, that's okay. She did okay. a presentation and she got presented her prize from the Queen and the King of Bahrain. And I was so scared that she wouldn't stand still and knock them over. I was oh, like, oh no. gosh. But actually, she, for once in her life, she did stand still. Oh, that's good. Okay, so the next thing that they would look at is muscle tone. Mm -hmm. So their muscles should be nice and super squidgy um, and soft and they shouldn't flinch away from it. And they'll do it along the back mm -hmm. and down the bum muscles. So if you squidge her bum muscles, they should be kind of nice and tight but squidgy yeah. and she doesn't flinch away from you. Mm -hmm. If they are tight and they're sore, it can be an indicator of tying up and you, yeah. you don't want to go any further because um, no. that can cause some major issues. Mm -hmm. And then another thing they'll look at is the respiratory rate. So a normal horse's respiratory rate can be anything from eight to 16 breaths a minute. Yeah. And you just want them to be within that. Usually they might be a little bit higher coming into a vetting because yeah. we've just been out on course doing 40K. Yeah. Um, but you just want it to be nice and even and not laboured. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things um, in terms of passing the vet is the heart rate. So I thought you could have a little go. Yeah. Um, let me pass that to you. <laughs> so the heart rate should be around the 40s for resting heart rate. Where do you usually? <laughs> so you take the heart rate just behind the shoulder. Yeah. And probably about there. Press nice and firmly and you should hear kind of like a boom boom. Cool. <laughs> so we actually used to go into vetting's electronic heart rate monitors because mm -hmm. it just makes it super easy. Well, I'm quite lucky to have, um, my dad is a doctor and he cruised for me and he's really good at taking the heart rate, listening to it for 15 seconds and saying it's dropping, it's steady, let's go to the vet or yeah. we need to keep crewing. Mm -hmm. um, and then the final thing is the trot up. Mm -hmm. So the, the main thing that they're looking for is that the horse is moving really evenly, isn't stiff and of course isn't lame. Yeah. Um, so we'll have a little practice of doing that. Yeah. So Tizzy has been trained to trot to a voice command. Mm -hmm. um, so as soon as, I won't do it yet because she'll just trot off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll show you kind of basic trot up and then yeah. you can have a little go. Cool. Okay, so we'll show you a trot up. Yeah. Kind of the top things to remember is the vets are there to help you. Mm -hmm. then you're not not there to catch you out. Yeah. They're making sure your horse is safe. Mm -hmm. So look straight ahead at them, smile, yeah. that goes a long way. Um, make sure that you hold the horse nice and loosely because you mm -hmm. don't want to um, mask anything going from their head. Yeah. And then stop at the top, walk a nice big circle around the top mm -hmm. and then trot back. Cool. So she trots to a voice command, so I'll show you first okay, and yeah. then you can have a go. Brilliant. <laughs> Come on. 
Wait. Wait. Yes, yeah, so if you put your hand out at the end, yep. she'll slow down for you. Cool. Thank you. Okay, Tizzy. Are you ready? <laughs> She would literally do it herself, wouldn't she? <laughs> Beautiful! Good girl! Like a pro! <laughs> You'll be a full-blown endurance rider by the end of the oh. day. <laughs> oh. Good girl! And basically, that is the betting. Brilliant! So <laughs> as long as your heart rate is under 64, mm -hmm. you trot up sound and the yep. vet is happy with all of those parameters, you get to start the ride. Yep. And then at the end of your ride, I know, <laughs> at the end of the ride it's the same parameters. Mm -hmm. So even if you've crossed the finish line first in a race, yep. you still need to pass the vet yep. to get your placing. Oh. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah, I think oh. she is. <laughs> like head scratches, please. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, I've seen the tack here already looks pretty different to what I'm used to, so tell me a bit more about that. Okay, so um, this is Tizzy's tack and mm -hmm. this is Qantas's. Okay. So there's a few slight differences. Yeah. All our tack is made of biothane, okay. which is a strong webbing coated in plastic. Mm -hmm. And that is purely... We'll tack you up in a minute. <laughs> that is purely so it's super, super strong, but also you can wipe it down so it doesn't get all frothy like leather and sweaty. Yeah. Um, and you can literally dump, dump it in a bucket of water between loops. Yeah. It's nice and clean for the next loop. Um, so Tizzy's tack is kind of a, a shiny kind of plasticky Ooh, biothane. Yeah. And her saddle is super heavy. Yeah. Because she races at FEI, it mm -hmm. has to be a minimum of 75 kilos. So if you have a feel of that, that is, that's without the weight on as well. Oh yeah, that's pretty yeah, heavy. heavy. But Qantas is a novice mm -hmm. um, and he's got quite sensitive skin. So you can see that his tack is kind of um, softer and yeah. a bit more matte. Um, and his saddle is super, super light mm -hmm. um, because he doesn't need to carry weight yet. Yeah, that's a lot like <laughs> yeah. the other one. Um, so let's tack up Tizzy. Yeah. She is already wearing the headpiece oh, okay. um, of her bridal. Yeah. So when we come into a vet gate in a venue, mm -hmm. part of endurance is to untack and get the horse ready to vet as quickly as possible because your time is still running. Yeah. So it's really important for us that when we're in a vet gate with 100 horses in, mm -hmm. that there's no chance of her getting away. Yeah. So the head collars are built into the bridle, so you oh, don't have to swap them over. So, cool. so all you have to do is pop the bit on and the reins also oh, just unclip wow. so you can use them as a lead rope yep and the little loops here that's what you clip the cheek hangers onto so literally all you have to do is pop that in flip it on if your hands aren't super cold <laughs> literally clip Straight on. Wow, <laughs> so speedy. It's so quick. And it's literally because as you come into the vet gate, if you're doing a really good presentation, then you want to be untacked and presented to the vet in under a minute. Yeah, wow. So the quicker you can do, take your tack off, the better. The only difference with our breastplates is that they clip off the top, mm -hmm. so you don't have to loop them over the head. So less likely to get tangled. And just pop that. Oh, wow. And there, and it clips onto the saddle. All tack should be like this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the saddle and me have to weigh 75 kilos. Yeah. I try and go to the gym and do lots of free weights so that I put on muscle, so that I don't have to carry any dead weight mm -hmm. on my saddle. But sometimes I do have to um, put a couple of kilos underneath my saddle flaps. Yeah. Um, this saddle is a split panel. Mm -hmm. So it, the spine is always completely free and the panels move with the freedom kind of of the shoulder of the horse. Yeah. The only kind of different thing I guess that we've got on here to what you'd normally have is the water bottle holder. Yeah. Keep us nice and hydrated and we've got cage stirrups. Okay. The cages are so you can ride in trainers. Oh. So if you want to get off and run at any point, yep. you can do. Ah. 
the circle behind here. Oh. And then we just clip it all on. Okay, so we're just gonna stock up the feed bin and yep. get the feeds ready before we go out on our ride. Mm -hmm. um, you might recognise the yes. horse on the feed bag. Is that you and Tizzy by any chance? It is, and this is such a special photo for me. And when Bailey's put her on the feed bag, it was amazing. Oh. Um, this was at the finish line of um, a 160 race, wow. where she qualified to go on Team GBR for work. Oh my god! But also, it was the year after she broke her leg, and it was, it was the first race that she did. So That's such an incredible story. <laughs> such a special moment. So oh. it was so cool that they put that photo on the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're going to make up feeds before we go. Mm -hmm. They always feed half an hour before we ride. Yeah. And that's to settle the stomach acids. Mm -hmm. So Tizzy will have E's and XL cubes. Yeah. And Qantas will have E's and XL mix. Yeah. And then afterwards, we'll feed the endurance mix mm -hmm. um, and during. And that's because it's really good for horses that need to have stamina. Yeah. And it's also a slow um, energy release. Yeah. So that when you're going along, it's giving you a good trickle of energy and mm -hmm. you're not getting those big spikes yes. like you would from kind of other feeds. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll make cool. up the feeds. Feed time. <laughs> I think Tizzy's excited for that. Hey. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Beth, your feed bins are so organised. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Made my little whiteboard so I can yeah. put their feeds on and stuff. That's so cool. This was actually my 27th birthday present, so yeah. you're never too old to ask for pony presents. I'll be putting on my Christmas list. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just going to pop these in the lorry. Yeah. After getting Tizzy and Azid's feed ready, we then loaded their tack up into the van and also got them ready for travelling, so we put on their boots, also their travel rugs and also their tail bandage slash tail guard for travelling as well, so then it was time to lead them out of the stable and get them into the van because we decided to do our practice endurance ride at a local cross country course so we could definitely give them a bit of a leg stretch. Up, which I might have had a little bit of help with because endurance tack is so different to anything I've really seen before. So Beth did give me a little bit of help. We then were on our way and we actually did a eight kilometer warm up where we just did walking and trotting around a local bridle path and oh my goodness, it was so beautiful. our eight kilometer warm up on the bridle path we then went on to the course and oh my goodness guys i did not realize how fast tizzy could really go <laughs> So handsome 
getting too much But I can't pull back Though I try to resist I can't fight this And no one Makes me feel like you do sloshing for the first time where you basically have to try and cool down the horse by pouring water on them and I think I might have got myself a little bit wet in the process but you know what it was so much fun and then it was time to give Tizzy some water as well when we had another little break and oh my goodness guys she's just so cute so after our crewing, where we made sure that Tizzy was happy and well, we were then off again and oh my goodness, this horse has got some speed. Um, so after our last interval, we then headed back to the van where we had our practice betting. Alright everybody, I have now finished my ride and oh my goodness, it was so much fun, such an adrenaline rush, especially when we were like cantering and galloping up the hills. So anyway, Tizzy now has her heart rate monitor on, which will beep when it's done, it knows what her heart rate is and I think at the moment it says 56, so straight 55. To straight to bed, <laughs> brilliant. So her heart rate is good, so um, if there's competition, we'd be taking her to the vet for them to check her over, that she was all good. Yeah, is it time to wash you down now, even though you've already got a bit of a slosh? <laughs> I got a bit of a slosh in the process and I did get a teeny bit wet, but you know what? Part of the fun! <laughs> Okay, Beth, thank you so much for teaching me about all things endurance and also allowing me to ride Tizzy as well. She was so cool and I've had <laughs> so much fun today. No worries, you're actually really, really good. An Aww, absolute pro. Thanks. And your sloshes, apart from sloshing yourself as yeah, well. Yeah, I did get a little <laughs> bit wet at the end. But you're still but... really good. You got them every time. You got yep. the front and back on the move. Um, you're really good at kind of doing the intervals and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know your speed? Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, nervous. so I've got kind of some on my watch and some on my phone. Yeah. So I had an app running. So we did 20 kilometers, which yep. is a, a normal training ride for us. Mm -hmm. Our average speed for the canter work was 28.9k an hour. Ooh, wow. So we're doing intervals, so the canters are much faster than what yeah. you'd compete at. For trot, our average was 13.5k an hour. Mm -hmm. And for walk, 4.8. Yeah. But quite impressively, especially for your first time on an endurance horse, your top speed was 41.8k an hour. Oh my gosh, that's so fast. I know. So I think 
you're probably ready to do an actual event if you oh want to. Oh my gosh, to. I am so up for that. That'll be so much fun. Yeah, so this year we don't have any events left because yeah. of COVID, mm -hmm. but maybe next year we can do a part two. Yeah, I'm so up for that. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Dizzy? Yeah? Yeah, Dizzy up for that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, fine, yeah. I'm rolling. Oh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thanks again to Beth. No I will leave a link to her channel and her social medias below if you'd like to check her out. Um, also, I'd like to say thank you to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>